Hey, my tubers. It's uh, half five, 24th of May, and uh, the weather's glorious. Um, this lot here used to be owned by a friend of mine, John Metcalf. You see the power cables. He, uh, he had us one and nearly killed himself. So they closed this one down. This allotment here is a double one, as you can see. This guy is really clever because you see all this comfort. <laughs> He's actually grown it outside his garden, so it's not invasive. But he must get some amazing comfrey tea. And I must admit that uh, every now and again he comes still some. You can see this is more like uh, it's more like a small holding. God, the rain's really coming down. There's some leaks in there. This is the next one. This is like what most allotments are like. It's just like a half allotment. Nice things growing in here. Uh, this is my other. Well, I know most of the people around here. This is Johnny. I think Johnny's let himself down here. That looks a bit fucked up, Johnny. This is the saddest allotment here. Sad chickens, they always come out to meet me. There's one of them. They'll all come out. You alright, chicken? They've got a bit of a hard life, bless them. This is the next one. This is a double allotment. This guy took it over, he was full of enthusiasm and it seems to have died really quickly. We know that feeling. And he's got this bit as well with some chickens in without hiding. This one again, just full of sad chickens. Alright, sad chicken. Down here, this is ours. Through this gate. Well, hopefully, you'll see allotment Dave. Oh, I have cracked on a bit. Last Wednesday was a brilliant day, but I really got stuck in. My God, it's like a World War One trench here. So this is Charlie's potato bed down this end of the garden here. Unfortunately, only one potato's come up so far. The rest of them will be good. Oh my god. It's like ah uh, it's like a swamp. Look it off that. Charlie came up earlier on and got drenched. Um put some of the cabbages in. I think these are cauliflowers. Onions are doing well. Peas. Everybody's having a problem with peas this year. There was a line in there, nothing's come up. Uh, fennel. Oh, I can't even tell you how good that smells. God, that's fabulous. Uh, the donkey rail this year, well last year we had Melons growing up, not melons, pumpkins growing over there. This year we're going to have beans. So there's a couple in there. Strawberries are doing well. And down here, we've got some more runner beans, and hopefully they'll go up on over there. Jesus, look at this. Now, anyway, if you saw the last one, you can see. Blue Star Dave, I've cracked on. Look at that, all the paths are done. It's starting to look more like an allotment now. Uh, right, let's whip through it. Flowers from Jan. We've got some uh, lavender and some sweet peas there. To grow up. Bloody hell, pissing it down. Got a sweet pea there. A couple of courgettes. Oh, okay, yeah. 
and hardly, there's like two or three peas that have come through and that's it, I don't know why potatoes here, a few spuds coming up um, purple sprouting broccoli side bed it's starting to look okay yeah. peas in here that'll be Guantanamo Bay soon and here we've got uh, runner beans I think they're pole, polar star this year pole star and I've grown them with some sweet peas in between just not only to make it look pretty but uh, to attract some bees so we've got this contraption here and then over there I'm going to build another one and have an archway going on so that should be quite good so we've got some red cabbage in here this was the bed that had the peas in last year I know it doesn't look like it, but the earth there, you could dig it over with your hands. The earth is so good. That's brilliant. Uh, cauliflowers in here. Yeah, look, they'll get there, they'll get there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to plant in this bed. Not sure. Not sure. Oh, God. There. Howard's garden next door. So, you can see over there we've still got a lot of work to do. It won't be that bad actually because this bed here that had the leaks in last year, it might look a bit shit, but I think the earth in here is pretty good. That won't take much digging over. Don't know where these came from. Are they not lupins? Something. Anyway, things with poisonous flowers. All of this has got to come out. These are the leaks that were in here that have all gone to seed. So we've got a garden of sort of two thirds. There's two thirds over there. But hopefully by next Saturday you might see this all gone. And hopefully it looks more like this. An allotment. So, until the next time. Tubers, take care. Love from Jeff and Charlie. Bye.